to show you how to build this bench. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. All right, we're gonna get started by cutting the two by fours for the seat at 40 inches long. Once you cut the first piece, just put it on top of the next piece and line it up. And that way they're both even. You need to cut seven of these at 40 inches long to make the seat. That will really mess up the table saw blade. We're gonna cut all these square, get the roundness out of them, make them pretty. This is how you join a board when you don't have a joiner. Just push the level up against the fence and move the board and the level at the same time. All right, now we're gonna run all the two by fours through the planter, get them smooth and get the saw blade marks out of them and get them all the same thickness. This is the DeWalt 735 13 inch planer. I highly recommend it for anyone needing a planer. Now we're going to move back over to the miter saw and cut the 1x4s for the pieces that go in between the 2x4s that make the legs of the bench. And you'll want to cut 12 of these. These pieces are cut at 18 inches long and that'll be the height of the bench. If you want your bench higher or shorter, just adjust the dimensions. Cut a few of these pieces off camera, but the two by fours for the legs are 18 inches and so are the pieces in between. This is me attempting to make mortise and tenon joints. I don't have a dado blade, so this is what I came up with. I uh, just put the stop on my miter and it goes to a certain height. So I just go around the board until the tenon is made. And then I move over to the drill press and make the mortise. After I get the hole drilled out for the mortise, I have to use my chisel to chisel it out, make it square, and keep doing that until the tenon fits in. Now that we have most of the pieces put together, we can start assembling the bench. And as you see me doing here, you just put a two by four and then a one by four and then a two by four again. And this creates an open gap for the seat. And the four boards that are sticking up higher, those are for the arms. Uh, I made those at 28 inches and they stick up about 10 inches past the seat. And for the arms, I just freehanded these on a one by six and cut them out with a jigsaw and then rounded them over with a chamfer bit and sanded them smooth. I wanted to make this piece a statement piece so at the last minute I added the crosses and I think they turned out pretty nice. I finished it off with a couple of coats of lacquer and here it is ready for delivery. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching the channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We'll see you next time.